Back our swamps and alligators Love our coffees too Got that feeling on board Running through our veins It's our feet dancing when We hear that fiddle play We love to hear that Cajun music Down at the Fago door Dancing with our sweethearts And just a little all right, guys, we're going to go ahead and clean the fish. I'll show you a couple ways that I do it. Um, I'll fillet some off the bone. I'll scale a few, a couple, and uh, I'll show you how I take the fillet off the bone. And also have a catfish in there. I'll fillet that just like a bass or sockele. So uh, let's get started on this. Thumb in there, give you a good holding spot for it. Cut the head off. Stick your thumb in there. Take all that out. When I fry mine whole, I like to cut a couple of slits right here to the bone. Season will get in there, season. I'll show you guys. This one is when I catch a bunch of hand sized ones and you can't freeze them whole because they'll pop the bags. So what I'll do, that's what I'll do on my smaller fish. I'll come right here and go. Down the side of the back, right here, down the bone. And go through. And it just rips off, comes around the. So you have the scales going, you have the skin. You don't lose any meat. It's gonna fry up crunchy. This skin will get real crunchy. They're really delicious this way. I'll put that in. Show you guys again how I do it. Make a little slit right there. Follow the bone. And when you feel it going through, Just come around. Catfish, I'll stay right behind the ridge.
no skin in it at all. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all how I season my fish. Us Cajuns like it hot, so I put quite a bit of red pepper and salt, uh, and I also get the seasoned fish fry. Uh, I notice a lot of people don't even season their fish; they just put it in the uh, the batter or the uh, fish fry. But I like to put the seasoning on my fish, and I like a good kick to it. So I'll go ahead and show y'all how I do it. All right. Okay, they're real damp. They have some water in the bottom of this. This is just kind of eyeballing it. I put quite a bit of pepper on top. This is how I season my meats too. I just have a good idea. Okay, and then I'll mix it up. The moisture in here is gonna spread it evenly. You can add a little bit of water to help the seasoning just melt and spread the salt. Everything's going to mix real good. And that's it. That's pretty much perfect right there. I'm going to take it inside. We're going to vacuum seal this up. Put it in the ice box. Let it chill. And we'll fry some tomorrow. Alright, we're ready to fry some fish. We have some young boys come and eat, some big eaters. Uh, we're going to fry some sockele. We're going to do a sauce pecan, which is like a tomato sauce. Uh, we're going to put bass in it. I had some bass, a couple bass I kept. Chunked them out, seasoned them. We're going to put that in the sauce. And that's going to be to be eaten over rice. I'll show you guys the ingredients right here. the sauce together first. All we're going to do is just pour this in here. It's already cooked down, the stuff, it's so good. You can cook frogs, turtles, rabbits. Sauce be called mix, good with any kind of meat. It's already pre-cooked. We're going to get this warmed up a little bit. Really, all you do is add your fish. It's seasoned already. Plus, I did season my fish. Like I said, us Cajuns like it hot. Okay. I'm going to put the bass in there. probably in 10 minutes. As soon as the fish is cooked, it's pretty much ready to go. little fryers are nice. There's an element that goes through the grease so the crumbs go underneath it it doesn't burn. So you could fry on this little fryer all night. Uh, it's got a thermostat. You put it on 350 there's a green light that comes on when it's 350. Uh, can't really see the light now. 
Uh, so it holds the temperature just right. I think I bought this thing at uh, Walmart years ago. It takes all the guesswork out. It's dummy proof. It's perfect. You just don't want to put too many fish when they're cold. You know, maybe 10 to 12 pieces is plenty. You want to wait till they kind of start floating before you take them out. Let them get crispy. golden brown color what I like to use guys this is a jerky actually a beef jerky drawing tray you can get these at Academy uh, this is better than using paper towels because the if you can get air going around the fish they'll stay crunchy and they won't get soggy uh, it's also good put your french fries on everything stays crunchy here's one of the small socolay I kept the fry hole and also a couple that I scaled and then has a skin on one side it's filet that's also in his back How is it, honey? Oh, it's great. It's off the good. What's up, brother? How is it? It's the best bass sauce people have ever had. Awesome. Thank you. It's delicious. Y'all eat up this plenty.